Welcome to my channel. Hey, how are you, friends? Twenty nineteen Camry. What we're gonna be doing on this car is gonna be a mini sound system. So we're gonna try to attach it to the factory radio. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep the factory radio on. So the idea is gonna be we're gonna run the RCA through the rear speaker, the RCA output. And let me open this. So <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. The RCA output conversion, and then of course we got the wires here. Two hundred. What amp? So I'll guide you through as I go, and I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do. Open the, open the engine. So we gotta start by running the power radio for the battery. So we're gonna run the way. We're gonna find my way to run the cable somewhere down there. All right, so let me just show you so far what I did. Uh, I'm on the driver's side all the way, all the way up there. You see the bar? So what I did, I poke. There's a rubber seal up there. I poke it through. And you come, you come on this side, and see it right there, the white, right there, the white stick. So I'm gonna hook up, hook up the wire to that, and pull it through. Okay, so this is what I was telling you. Once you poke it, poke it through right there. Where is my seal? Right there, right on top of the seal. See, that's where it's coming. So what I did, uh, once I had, I had this through, I took a longer screwdriver and I kind of poked the hole next to the the plastic thing that I have to pull it so I poke it right next to it just to make the hole a little bit bigger and then if we come inside this is what we're gonna be pulling it we'll start pulling it now We just come right through. Just take your time. I gotta go get some gloves. My hands are slippery. Okay, so if you're pulling, if you're pulling and it's not coming through, just get your long screwdriver and try to try to help them out, like pushing right next to where it's gonna come out, like wig, wiggle it so it can come out. And now there it comes. Okay, so there you have it. So now we're just gonna keep running all the way to the back. We're gonna pick up all these side pieces. So 
so we can hide it right under. Alright, so I had to remove the door panel. I do have another video of another 2019 Camry if you want to know how to remove the door panel. I will also put the link on this video in case you want to know how to remove that panel. So what I'm doing, I'm tracing the wire for the speaker. And uh, as you can see over here on the speaker, we're connected to the speaker. One is red, one is white. But if you come here to the actual connector, everything change so you get a you get one of these multimeter and you put it on sound and you put one lead on one wire the one you want to find first and then you go inside here and you're gonna hear a beep when I find the right wire so, which is gonna be, this is one. You hear that? Every time I touch it, it beep. So that's gonna be my positive wire. The purple, what is that, purple blue. Now I gotta switch and find the other ones. So remember, purple blue is gonna be positive. So now I switch my other connected to the white one. Then I come over here and I go, I go to the one right next to it. I don't know if you can see right there, right there, right there, Let's see, right there. So that's gonna be the negative. Yellow, what is that? Yellow, purple yellow oh, it's like pink yellow but just get this on that connector the very two top thick ones those are gonna be positive and left and negative positive negative so left positive right negative and this is on the driver caterpillar here right next to the seat okay so you're gonna remove this plastic it has a lot of little taps so take a flathead you poke it on the outside all the way all of them and come right out if you also want you can remove this stand you don't have to but I did and then you're gonna see the wires, the one I told I told you, the very top ones. See there how they twist? That means you find the right one. If they're twist like that, those are the speaker ones in this case. So we're gonna be using the ground one, which is the black one here. So we're gonna connect the brown wire on the RCA output. And then the rest of the wire, we're going to put them to this one, to the speaker. Okay, so if you're not doing any welding or whatever you're doing, make sure, once you splice the wire, make sure you poke it through. And then you run your wire through the wire and not around the wire. So you can have a good connection. You just get a, with a test light. You poke it right through. That way you can stick your wire inside the wire and have a good, really good connection. Whether you're welding it or not, that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so on this box, what you want to do, since I'm going to be connecting everything on one, just on one speaker. This thing comes with four wires, so you can connect it to two speakers. But still going to work the same, so... What you're gonna do, you're gonna take the two with no lines, that's gonna be your positive, and then the white with the black line, and gray with the black line, that's gonna be your negative. And remember, we said, we said the positive is gonna be the one on the left, which is gonna be the purple blue. 
purple blue is gonna be positive yellow pink yellow pink is gonna be negative and then the black one is gonna be the ground which you're gonna connect the brown one it's gonna be this brown out of that box on the black so let me do that and I'll get back to you so that's how it look after you connect everything so remember two and two and one for ground before you store this somewhere make sure you if if your uh, the conversion you're using has any little button make sure you put them to the max to the right so it'll be hard for you to get back on it to adjust it later so let me put everything back okay so the remote the remote wire we're gonna connect it to the 15 amp the 15 so coming from the bottom it's gonna be the 15 the blue one which is your power outlet that's for the cigarette lighter to charge your phone that's where you want to connect that but you got to pay attention when you connect it to the fuse do not connect it on the right side because the right side is all even though if the fuse is blown is always gonna have power so you got to connect it on the left side of the fuse so when you push the fuse in there you want your wire to be toward the outside of the car to the driver's side left not on the other lead the right is always hot so please pay attention on that so I'm gonna tap it to these and connect it and I'm gonna make sure it's on the left side because the power is always hot on the right and you don't want to connect it on the right because if it blown if the fuse goes bad there's a short or something you your amp is still gonna help straight power so you want it to be on the left okay so see right there that's where I put it so what you do you you know you get your wire ready so you stick it in the hole and then you connect your you put your fuses put your fuse bag so like I say that's that's gonna be the power Power outlet 15. I'll show you right here. This phone. Okay, right there. See what it said? Power. Power outlet. So it's a P outlet 15A. Right there. Right there. That one. Power outlet 15. That's what we tap into. And remember, you want to go on the left side. Left side, not right side. Okay, so when it comes to the battery, make sure you remove your fuse before you start playing with your positive here to connect it. Now, this cable, what I would do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it here so I can just get this loose, get the bolt loose, and slide it under. So I don't have to take that completely out in order to put this in. It's not gonna go anywhere so in case you want to re remove this in the future all you gotta do is get it loose and pull it out so that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do right now so get this loose now really cut this so what I'm gonna do is just go see how this slide in once it's there I just make it tight again Right there. And I can put this back on. There. So I already got my ground over there hooked up. So now I can put my fuse. If anything wrong with the amp or any short somewhere, the fuse is just gonna blow right away. Push it in the hole. It's gonna spark because the amp is gonna suck some power. 
So as you can see, the fuse didn't blow. So let me, our connections are good. Let me show you where I put the ground. Okay, so see where I put the ground right there. Um, where the speaker bolt on, which this one doesn't have a speaker. I just put the ground right there. Testing, testing. Now we gotta clean that mess. Alright, so I'm getting ready to close everything here. So that's how it look. I put the box in the hole in there for the RCA output. So now I'm just gonna close everything back and uh, we should be good to go and test the system and that's it. So that's with the little plastic back on, the cover. All right, so we're done. So that's how we look here. on the back on the top Thank you for watching, I hope I helped uh, help you on this video.